One of Spider-Man's strongest abilities is his web swing, being able to hold onto a spider web and launch himself from building to building. I mean, of course, he also does have spider strength and also specialized webbing, blah, blah, blah. But that kind of had me wondering in real life, how much spider web would it actually take to hold us humans up? Firstly, there are many, many spiders in the world, which means there are many types of spider webs. To be honest, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I actually didn't even know that. I didn't know there were types of spider webs, but there are. Spider webs are also known as spider silk, and here are some of the very Various types of spider silk. There's flag lily form silk, flag 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 lily form silk, and that's like the really really sticky type of spider web that like really sticks to your hand and it just goes off. And specific types of spiders use this only to actually capture and like hold down their prey. There's also the scriblet silk, the type that's actually fuzzy and kind of wooly. But ladies and gentlemen, the important one we want to focus on today and use in our experiment is called drag line silk, the absolute strongest spider silk of them all. You know, you know what? Screw it. It's not one of the strongest spider silks of them all. It's one of the strongest natural materials, period. One of the strongest natural materials, period. It's compared to having up to five times stronger tensile strength than steel. Steel, baby girls, steel. <laughs> Sweethearts, do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? Baby girl, listen to me five times. And tensile strength is basically the maximum pressure an object can hold without breaking. And dragline silk can go up to 2.8 GPA, while steel usually averages around one to two. Now putting these nerdy stats aside, now that we know that we have this dragline silk, let's quickly just touch on what dragline silk is, how like webbing is actually made, and also how is it possible that these like little webs are somehow stronger than steel itself. Like take steel and then take a webs. Ha. How is that what? Firstly, you must understand when people say it's stronger than steel, they mean it's tensile strength is stronger. Basically meaning if you take one pound of spider silk, that could hold a lot more weight than one pound of steel holding weight. That's what tensile strength really comes down. But now when we talk about what spider webs actually are, I actually researched this only today and I was kind of, I was a little bit grossed out by actually realizing what it kind of is. Basically spider silk is something that's like internally generated from like the protein and like nuclei from the spiders, right? Which is basically the same as us humans humans when we make mucus from our nose or when we sweat. It like, ew, that literally means like, imagine like us sweating and like when we sweat, like a little spider silks come, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god, oh. oh. Like imagine you just came back from a big like five mile run, right? Like you go on a run, who, who, you go back, lay down on your bed and like since you're sweating, like spider silk starts to come out. You start to form like webs around your body and your, oh my god. That's what spiders are doing. They're literally like, not the exact same thing, but like they're generating this from like in. Oh my, ew. Anyways, now that we got all that out of the way, let's talk about the main topic. How much web do we actually need to hold a human up? So at first, I asked ChatGPT and we went back and forth on this for a couple hours actually. I basically wasted a bunch of my days doing this. Finally, we came up with an answer of 21 kilometers of spider web needed to hold us up. This would be equivalent to around the same length as a full marathon. And I personally thought that answer seemed legit, like 21 kilometers of web holding us up. I feel like that makes sense, right? But I also did some other research, some outside research, and I actually found a YouTube video that did an actual real life experiment of this. Nine and a half miles of silk in mass in spider silk held, and it is. Cue the drum roll. 26. 26 pounds! So as you can see, here they were comparing the tensile strength of spider and steel, and they found out that nine and a half miles of spider web, this right here, was able to miraculously hold up 26 pounds. 26 pounds, nine and a half miles equals 26 pounds of weight. Now we have our conversion, we have it. So after that, I beat the hell out of ChatGPT because chat, what are you doing, sweetheart? You're supposed to be like some smart AI and you were off by so much. So I beat it up. I literally beat ChatGPT up right here. But after that, now we can do the actual calculation. And if we take the average weight of a person being around like 160 pounds, we can calculate the final answer using the following. Firstly, we'd simply divide 26 by nine and a half because 26 pounds and then nine and a half miles. And the answer comes out to be 2.7 meaning every 2.73 miles of spider web would hold up one pound. And then we simply multiply 2.73 by 160, 160 being the average weight of a human being. And we get the final answer for total webbing needed to hold up a human at exactly 438 miles of spider web, over 700 kilometers of this web. Now, if you think that's a big number, sweetheart, it's a phenomenally big number. It's a, it's a huge number. In this list right here, you can see some of the things that's comparable to, but the one I wanted to really note out and talk about is number Number six, where it says 438 miles is about the same width of the entire United Kingdom from east to west. What? Baby, nae, acid, nae, was like the, nae, was like the acid. 
कैसे हो गया ये कैसे वॉट सो इफ आई वॉन्ट लाइक स्पाइडर मैन वन डे एम लाइक ओ वॉन्ट बी स्पाइडर मैन आई हैव टू गो टू दू के पुट माई वेब डाउन ऑन ऑन वन एज ऑफ दी इंटायर कंट्री वन एज Run to the other side. Run to the other side of the country. <laughs> And that's the length I'd need around, bruh. Bruh, boy, no, boy, no way, bruh. And not only that, then I'd have to gather this 438 miles, 438 miles, gather it, wrap it over one hook. And like hang by this hook, but the answer doesn't end here, sweetheart. Now we know that we need over 700 kilometers of spider web just to hold us up. So now let me try to find a way to visualize what this actually looks like for you. And to do this, we can go back to the original video we referenced. And here, as we talked about, this guy used nine miles of spider web, and this is what nine and a half miles looked. So since 438 miles is around 50 times that. Basically, whatever image and the length you see right here, multiply this by 50. Actually, by 50, and that's how much you need to hold us up, like this, like this. Junior, feel like Vinicius, young, you stupid, but he's idiots. And hey, man, now y'all know, man. Whenever a friend or someone asks you, oh, how much spider web do you think you'll need to hold us up? Literally, just tell them 438 miles of it, sweetheart. Easy, man. I got y'all, man. And also, really quick, for those of you that really care, you guys know that this is my longest break I've had from YouTube. It was like two weeks off because I was literally sick, dead in that bed. I was dead for three weeks. I'm not even kidding. Do you see these videos? I look so ugly. I have a full beard and I'm just de laying dead in bed, bro. Apparently, the doctors that have like some vitamin D deficiency. I'm like super far down. I'm like really. Far down, it's so bad. It's so bad. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you guys the numbers, but like somehow my vitamin D is at like a level 30, and I'm supposed to be at like level 90 or like 100 for like where we're at. So I'm like triple low. I'm triple low. But the doctor got me right. Like my pills are like there somewhere. Like the pills are like there. Like ew, that's a mess. Don't look at that. Ew, never mind. But anyways, the pills are back there. Like I'm feeling a little bit better day by day, a little bit, you know. But really, thank you all. Like everyone that really cared and commented. Oh, I hope you feel better. Oh, when are you coming back? Like that really means a lot. Thank you guys so much. I love you, baby. I love you. And from now. On you guys will know. Obviously, we'll be coming back weekly, baby. I love you guys. Let's go crazy in 2023. Zeus, it.